Light and color is arguably one of the most important skills that you can learn as an artist. It's the foundation for just about any sort of realistic painting because the way that we interpret the things around us is through light and color. Now, it's really important to understand the idea that light and color are virtually one and the same, right? You can't have a black and white painting without any color in it, but it's not really realistic and it's not gonna give you all of the information that color would. However, color, if you're doing a realistic painting, cannot exist without light because all color is, is our eyes interpretation of the light rays bouncing down off the object and bouncing into our eyes, okay? So having that in mind is gonna be really important. Now, this doesn't apply if you're gonna be painting something abstract where there's not any sort of lighting or shading or anything like that. If you're just painting shapes and colors, right, almost Picasso style, then light and color is not gonna play a big role because there's not any form or shading or highlights and stuff like that. But if you're painting anything that has shadows and lighting, then you need to understand that light and color are one and the same. Now, keeping that in mind is going to be important because when you're painting a picture and you're trying to think, you know, how can I, how can I come up with a good color palette for this painting and how should I pick the colors to make this look right? Understanding that that's actually tied to the lighting in the scene as well is really going to help your paintings become more realistic as well as be more intentional in their palettes. Sometimes people will pick colors that they just think will look good without really taking into account the color of the lighting, the direction of the lighting, whether the source is indoors or outdoors, all different things like that. And what ends up happening is their painting doesn't look very cohesive. Or sometimes they think about this really great, awesome lighting scene, right? Where maybe it's lit from below and there's this awesome rim lighting from behind and they're holding a torch so half their face has this warm glow to it. But they don't really think about how that light interacts with the color of the rest of their palette and there's too many colors going on and it looks muddied and confusing. So this whole next section is going to be all about helping you traverse the difficulties of understanding light and color. So whatever you do as you go forward, remember, they're one and the same. If you're thinking about light, you should also be thinking about color. And if you're thinking about color, you should also be considering light. So that's it for this lecture. I'll see you guys in the next one.